My name is Emily and I am a clinical manager for the BD Targeted Temperature Management Solution. Our newest model, the Arctic Sun Stat Temperature Management System, offers a way to non-invasively and precisely control temperature for all appropriate patients, including neonates, pediatrics, and adults. A successful TTM program requires more than just technology. That is why we offer a comprehensive solution, including ongoing product training and other services, including Arctic Sun Analytics. Today, we're going to discuss how to use your Arctic Sun Stat temperature management system to assess your patient during targeted temperature management therapy. I will also show you how to use the case data stored in your Arctic Sun temperature management system, along with our analytics portal to deliver the highest quality therapy according to your hospital's protocol. The Arctic Sun Stat temperature management system stores up to four protocols in your device. When initiating therapy, select the protocol ordered, then choose the Arctic gel pad kit size for the patient being treated. The display screen shows patient information in yellow and water information in blue. The dotted yellow line is the goal of therapy as programmed according to your hospital protocol. The solid yellow line is your actual patient temperature. The solid blue line is the actual water temperature. The device checks your patient's temperature every second and adjusts the water temperature every two minutes. This eliminates the need for manual adjustments. Question, how can I assess my patient for heat generation? Now I wanna show you a new assessment tool on the Arctic Sun Stat Temperature Management System. Work to Cool continuously monitors fluctuations in water temperature to indicate when your patient may be generating heat. The work to cool information displayed at the bottom of the therapy graph can show average heat removed by the patient throughout therapy. When the gauge is displaying blue, it is an indication that the system is not working too hard and the patient should be monitored as normal. When the gauge is displaying orange, it is an indication that the system is working hard to cool and that the patient should be assessed for shivering, seizure, fever, internal bleeding, or other causes of heat generation. The work to cool gauge is also displayed on the lock screen. It provides real-time feedback about your patient's response to therapy. Once again, when the gauge is displaying blue, it is an indication that the system is not working too hard and the patient should be monitored as normal. When the gauge is displaying orange, it is an indication that the system is working hard to cool and that the patient should be assessed for shivering, seizure, fever, internal bleeding, or other causes of heat generation. This is an example of a case graph from one of my customers when they started using Arctic Sun Stat Temperature Management System. You can see at the bottom the patient generated heat throughout the majority of therapy. Based on this example, I went back and trained bedside nurses on how to use the work to cool gauge. For the hospital educator, bedside nurses also reviewed their hospital policy on assessment and treatment of heat generation. This is a case graph from the same hospital showing tight control of patient temperature. You can also see the patient only generated heat at the beginning of therapy. The bedside nurse was able to treat the root cause of heat generation and prevent temperature variability. The next new tool we're going to review is called monitor mode. For patients being treated with normothermia, clinicians can set upper and lower temperature limits. The Arctic Sun Stat Temperature Management System will continuously monitor the patient's temperature and alert the clinician when the patient's temperature exceeds the bounds if it is in manual mode, or automatically restart therapy when it is in automatic mode. This feature is useful for temperature surveillance of a patient. When activated, the monitor mode temperature limits, upper limit and lower limit, will display as dotted lines above and below the target temperature on the therapy graph. Once the monitor mode button has been selected, monitor mode adjust dialog box will appear. The upper limit, lower limit, and duration parameters can be adjusted using the arrows next to each. Once defined, press save and start. This example shows a patient in normothermia. The clinician keeps stopping therapy to assess whether or not the patient can self-regulate their temperature. While the device is in stop mode, indicated by the red line at the bottom, the patient is allowed to spike a fever greater than 40 degrees Celsius. If the practitioner simply activated the monitor mode, the device would control the patient temperature to the configured target temperature to avoid fever spikes. The care team now knows the patient is not ready to discontinue therapy on the device, and they can try monitor mode again at a later time 
if their or your facility permits. You may have already recognized that it takes more than just a device to deliver high quality targeted temperature management. As a clinical manager, it is my job to partner with your hospital to share best practices, provide product training, and discuss your patient pathway to ensure that TTM protocols align with your hospital's practice. Incorporating Lean Six Sigma principles of process improvement are part of Arctic Sun Analytics. When you subscribe to Arctic Sun Analytics, I dedicate time to reviewing your TTM cases, allowing you to make data-driven decisions and track trends not only in your individual hospital, but throughout your hospital system. Let's revisit my customer again and look at an example of how to use reports to improve process. When this customer started using analytics in August of 2019, the data analytics showed TTM therapy was being stopped prematurely. Hospital physicians wanted patients to get at least 48 hours of normothermia after hypothermia therapy, and that was not being delivered. The hospital made their policy more clear, expanded their fleet of Arctic Sun devices so they had enough to treat all of their eligible patients, and stressed the importance of following the policy during continuing education. Fast forward to the first quarter of this year, and now you can see they are exceeding their goal of completing 48 hours of normothermia. Another key metric that is offered as part of the analytics subscription is door to cool times. This measures the time it takes from admission to achieving the target temperature. This total metric is comprised of two segments. The dark blue bar indicates hospital admission to initiation of TTM with the Arctic Sun. The light blue bar indicates from the time therapy is initiated with the Arctic Sun until the target temperature is achieved. This total metric is called door to cool. Optimizing this enables you to deliver the highest quality of TTM for your patient according to your hospital protocol. This is why we make Pearson's Law our motto. It says, when performance is measured, performance improves. When performance is measured and reported back, the rate of improvement accelerates. Finally, let's talk about charting. Do you ever wish you could go back and see your exact patient temperature or water temperature from two hours ago? Wouldn't it be nice if your Arctic Sun connected to your EMR? Well, now it can. The Arctic Sun stat has Wi-Fi capability to upload your case data to the analytics portal in near real time. It is also capable of connecting to your EMR system, potentially saving your time from tedious charting and allowing you to concentrate on caring for your patient. When I'm not available to help you, the 24-7 clinical helpline is. This helpline is intended to assist healthcare professionals with technical questions regarding the use of Arctic Sun temperature management system. I hope you were able to learn something new from today's presentation. Please reach out with any questions and thank you so much for your time. Have a great day. The Arctic Sun Temperature Management System is a thermal regulating system indicated for monitoring and controlling patient temperature in adult and pediatric patients of all ages. There are no known contraindications for the use of a non-invasive thermoregulatory system. Do not place Arctic gel pads on skin that has signs of ulceration, burns, hives, or rash. Do not remove the fabric release liner of the neonatal Arctic gel pad and expose the hydrogel. Do not place Arctic gel pads on immature, non-keratinized skin or premature babies. While there are no known allergies to hydrogel materials, caution should be exercised with any patient with a history of skin allergies or sensitivities. When using the Arctic Sun Temperature Management System, Note that all other thermal conductive systems in use while warming or cooling with this device may interfere with patient temperature control. The Arctic Sun Temperature Management System is not intended for use in the operating room environment. Due to underlying medical or physiological conditions, some patients are more susceptible to skin damage from pressure and heat or cold. Patients at risk include those with poor tissue perfusion or poor skin integrity due to edema, diabetes, peripheral vascular disease, poor nutritional status, steroid use, or high-dose vasopressor therapy. Examine the patient's skin under the Arctic gel pads. 
skin injury may occur as a cumulative result of pressure, time, and temperature. Carefully remove Arctic gel pads from the patient's skin at the completion of use. Aggressive removal or removal of cold pads from the patient's skin may result in skin tears. The rate of temperature change and potentially the final achievable patient temperature is affected by many factors. Treatment application, monitoring, and results are the responsibility of the attending physician. If the patient does not reach target temperature in a reasonable time or the patient is not able to be maintained at the target temperature, the skin may be exposed to low or high water temperatures for an extended period of time, which may increase the risk of skin injury. Please consult the operator's manual for more detailed safety information and instructions for use.